everybody, nice. it's Kevin Hoagland, and welcome to On the Gold Quick Tips, where sometimes the actual tip takes less time than the intro. So let's get through the intro and get to the first tip. Hey, thanks for joining us today on the On the Gold Quick Tips. These tips are designed to help you become a better prospector and miner. And I was jokingly saying that sometimes the answers will take less than the intro, but you know what? In some cases, that may be true. Joining me today with a quick tip question is Mr. Kevin Bell, my co-host and producer. Hey, Kevin, what's today's quick tip question? Okay, it's how do I work faint or very small targets? that don't have an audible tone? Oh man, that's a great, that actually is a really good question. And it's also gonna open up another side of this because there's two sides. There's the, uh, and obviously you're talking about a, a detector that has a VDI, which mm -hmm. is the visual meter. So you're seeing something on your visual meter, but you're not hearing an audio tone, right? And right. the other side of that is, if you hear an audio tone, but you're not seeing anything on your VDI or, or your visual meter, I'm just, it's a VDI. So right. let's cover both of those. First off, if you've got a, a, a bounce on your, uh, on your VDI, but you're not hearing anything audible, it's generally not really a target. So a lot of times that will show the ground mineralization. The easiest thing to do with that is just boot dig it. Take your boot, scrape across it, and see if an audio tone comes up. If it doesn't come up, then check to make sure that your machine is in ground balance and that your sensitivity is not set too high or, or, or just check those things real quick or just dig the target and see if it is a target. I, I Look, I'm going to tell you nine out of ten times when you've got the visual display but no audio tone whatsoever. If you dig down two or three times or even take a pick and do a, a scrape across the top, that you'll not get an audio. So again, check your ground balance, make sure that your ground balance properly, properly and you're not just picking up ground mineralizations. Now let's talk about targets that, and I know that you've actually run into this as well as long as, as well as just about anybody else that uses a VDI. This is one of the reasons why you can never be dependent upon a VDI detector only because I've had so many cases where I've watched people will have a little bit of an audio tone, but they don't see anything on the VDI and they've walked over a good target. And I think you were sharing with me with your, your MindLab Equinox, you had a couple of audio targets that didn't show up on your VDI. Is that right? Yes, yes. And what happened, it only started to register on the VDI when I had dug down two or three inches. I first started out where it just rippled the, the threshold. And then as I kept digging down, I started to get an audio tone. And then finally, it showed up on the VDI as a number. And, that what, me twice. and what, were those, what was that target? Both of those were very small pieces of gold. Exactly. When we take a machine like, um, well, I'm, I'm going to call out some stuff, which is unusual for me because generally I try to keep this as and as ambiguous as I can. But if you take a machine like the uh, the Mind Lab Gold Monster, or even your uh, or even the um, the Equinox 800, if you've got a solid VDI that no matter what never changes, but you still got that audio tone, and you dig a bunch of those targets and there's no fluctuation in that VDI whatsoever and it's always a trash target, yeah, then I can start trusting that. Mm -hmm. But if there's any variation at all on that VDI, it's a target you have to dig. Now, I know right. that's kind of a little bit off the topic of, you know, just checking those audio signals, but 
I think it's also something really important to remember. You know, don't become dependent upon your VDI, and you've got to be able to trust your audio. You you have got to be able to trust that audio. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely, and that that's what I did when I was running uh, up there because all those the gold up in that in that area where we were working was small. Right. So. Right. You know, looking at the VDI right off the bat would have been a waste of time because most of those only come, as to, like I said before, just a ripple in the threshold mm -hmm. until you start to dig them. So I got trained really fast because my buddy found targets that I didn't find. Right. And, they, and I had gone right over it. So, right. yeah, I learned real fast. You got to trust the tone, not the not the screen. Right. Right. So. You know, I, I guess I don't know. Did that answer? Did that really? Yeah, I think that too. I think you did a okay. good job there. All right. So if you have an audio tone and no VDI, still dig it. If you have a VDI and no audio, boot dig it. Get it down a little bit and see what it is, and make sure that your machine is set properly. That's really those two things. And then the next one, of course, which was just kind of the the bonus quick tip, I guess is that you cannot trust your VDI completely when you have an audio and a VDI target until you know exactly what you're digging. So, mm -hmm. I think that covers it. I, matter of fact, I know that covers it. I'm Kevin Hoagland with Kevin Bell, and we thank you today for joining us on our quick tip. We'll be bringing you a lot more of these as, they, as we have more and more. Uh, we're having an incredible amount of questions coming in that are – really fall right into this quick tip category quick to answer as long as i don't get off the uh, get off the reservation too far so until the next time be good to yourself be good to others and go out and go find some gold